Well, in our library, we get lots of donations. And sometimes it's a really fun bunch of donations. The other day we got some donations, Doctor Who books. For those of us who like to live in a different dimension, possibly in a whole different planet, you will probably know who Doctor Who is. He's a travelling time lord. He has a spaceship that's like a um, phone booth called the TARDIS. And we have a whole bunch of his books here that have just come in. So if you're a bit of a Doctor Who fan, or even just a sci-fi fan in general, come in, have a look when you can <laughs> about, about new Doctor Who range. Some of them are a little bit older, but he is a Time Lord, so I suppose that's okay. Come on! What is your name? I'm the Doctor. A sonic probe? That screwdriver. It is harmless. That's why I like it. Doesn't kill, doesn't wound, doesn't maim. But I'll tell you what it does do. It is very good at opening doors. We've also got a few other new books that have come in. Some of our sort of fantasy, different countries, different places, different planets. And of course, Dune has come in as well. So that if you're looking forward to the movie next year, we've got the book so that you can catch up and read the book before you actually have to see the movie. Put your name down now for some Doctor Who and enjoy traveling through time and space. So you actually live up here on a cloud in a box? I have done for a long time now. Blimey, you really know how to sulk, don't you? I'm not sulking. You live in a box. That's no more a box than you are a governess. Oh, spoken like a man. You know, you're the same as all the rest. Sweet little Clara, works at the Rose and Crown, ideas of other station. Well, for your information, I'm not sweet on the inside, and I'm certainly not... It's called the TARDIS. It can travel anywhere in time and space. And it's mine. <laughs>